day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody. Uh, uh, this is uh, the 31st of May, and I, we had a very interesting Bible study, especially when we're dealing with the, the, the current events going on in our society with the riotings. You know, the devil is trying to distract us for the riot, using the rioting to look at that opposed to what triggered the rioting. What triggered the rioting is the senseless killing by the people that we entrust to protect us. It's not protecting, and if that's how the system is trying to say, it's not protecting people of one color. Everybody of one color are not criminals. Whether you're black or white, none of us, our society, those of us who pay taxes and, 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 and try to operate the best we can. And, and we all make mistakes. We make mistakes to driving too fast sometimes. We make mistakes being distracted and not watching what we're doing. We make mistakes of, 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 of being in situations where we, we found ourselves and, and cause compromise and, and we want a system that operates with the grace that goes with it. See, the Bible concluded that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That means that if we try to create a society based on laws and say that the laws got it, the problem with laws is that we, we, we all subject at one time or another, and all of us, I bet everybody's listening to this video today is gonna to sit there and say that, you know what? The laws are good, but I make mistakes. Some of them intentionally, some of them unintentionally. And I'm talking about all of us. Ain't nobody here that, I guarantee you, nobody listening to this video right now can sit there and claim that they got their act together. Nobody can do that. That's why we have grace. That's why God gave grace. That's why grace came through Jesus Christ. Because we, we, we ourselves are imperfect people. Even our laws and the system we have today, that's, that's not, it's not perfect. It's imperfect. And the people that we, we, we charge to protect them are imperfect. The people that are sitting there rising are imperfect. That's why we need grace toward one another. We need to love one another. We sit there in this study. One of the things we brought up to the end was Galatians chapter uh, 5. When we did with chapter, I think it's verse, I uh, started out with verse 22 to 23. But the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. And I like about the fruits of the Spirit is talk about the fact that the first anchor is love. And I just closed out on Facebook and I sit there and said that, you know, you need to love yourself so you can understand to love somebody else. You need to love somebody instead of sitting there trying to find loyalty for corruption. You need to find somebody loyalty and love. Love is not physical only. Love is compassion to your fellow man, fellow man. And God wants you to love one another. So one of the things that going into this Bible study, and 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 this is the commentary for what we talked about today. We, you know, we brought up the fact is that we as a church. We use Isaiah 6 as it's time for us to rise and shine. For the glory of the Lord has risen upon us. We talk about the fact is that Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came to give life, life more abundantly. 
If we operate in the flesh, we're going to continue to do the things of the flesh. And the problem of the flesh is, it got a lot of junk in it. Or the works of the flesh. It's a lot of junk. You, that's, that's, that's why we, as the church, need to operate by the fruits of the Spirit instead of operating. Because the people see you. 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 I'm talking to you. The people see when you operate outside of the love of God. Instead of operating in the flesh. And the people see it. You ain't fooling nobody. Don't sit there and try to lie and come to church and, and act one way and then walk out in the street and act another way. Because people looking at you. Even the people that's in the building looking at you. You think somebody don't see you? They don't see you. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and talk about the fact that it's about the flesh, the works of the flesh in Galatians chapter 5. It says right here. Matter of fact, I started in verse 16. This I say, then walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. But if you be led to the spirit, you're not under the law. For the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, spiritual adultery as well as physical adultery. Adult, spiritual adultery is when you sit there and honoring and worshiping something other than God. Physical adultery is being married and, and, and having a relationship with somebody else other than the person you're married to. Fornication. Spiritual fornication is once again having an intercourse with a unclean spirit, religion, idolatry, things that don't line up with God, is fornication in the spirit. And then we got the fornication in the flesh. Where we're not being committed to the person that we come in union with. We're not giving them our life. We're just taking the selfish road. Uncleanness, asciliness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, immolation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresy, envying, murder, drunkenness, revelry, and such like, which I tell you before, as also told you in time past, that they would do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. We're not talking about the kingdom of heaven. We're talking about the kingdom of God. Christ said that the kingdom of God is at hand. It's a way of living in this world. They transform when you leave this world, you go into the kingdom. Do we operate in the flesh? Does one of those things fit you? If it does, then you need to change. And the fruits of the spirit is what we want to be able to go with. Fruits of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such there is no law. Nobody can convict you legally if you operate in love. If you operate in joy, what are you gonna do? Put you in jail because you have joy? Uh-uh. Long suffering, have patience toward one another. Gentleness. Hey, I think we're all understand that. There's being rough and there's being gentle. What fruit are you bearing? Are you gentle in teaching and treating one another? The other one is goodness. Are you operating in goodness? Are you operating in doing things good instead of bad? Are you trying to do anything for your fellow man? Or are you being selfish and only doing stuff for yourself? Faith. This one is talking about faithfulness. Are you faithful? Are you showing up where you need to show up? Are you doing what you said you're going to do? That's what people are looking for. That's what they're looking for at the church. They're looking for the church to be able to do something in the back of the booth in the corner of the dark. They don't like when people are trying to do something secretly and think if nobody know about it. People looking at it. People knowing what you're doing. People seeing what you're doing. People seeing what I'm doing. I got to learn to do it right. Let's learn to do it right. Let's learn to operate in faithfulness. 
meekness and, and temperance with the self-control. Against such there's no law. That's what we talked about in the Bible study. And we covered a lot of topics. But this one is just the introduction. I just want to give you kind of wrap of what I was doing. And I basically gave you the stuff we talked about to the end. But the bottom line is, the world looking at us. The world went for us to rise and shine. So let's learn to rise and shine. Let people see who we are in Christ Jesus. Amen. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the 31st of May. We still got that COVID flu uh, virus going on. And we got rioting going on. We got people, we're trying to get our economy going back again. We need Jesus. We need to change. Change begins in the mind. Change needs to take place in the heart. I hope you enjoy your week. And we'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it's, it's all to get the one who uh, bucked against their system. Right. The one who did not follow in line with their laws right. and their control. Right. So, and which is going on with society today. Yes. So in order to, to disrupt this peaceful protest against injustice, these people, uh, the Aryan nation, these, 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 uh, all these people who are uh, racist, they come in and they start the looting. Yeah. They start the fires. And so then you got that mob mentality that we've talked about. Then these people of color start participating and you know, why not? Yeah. You know, here's an opportunity. I don't have the resources to get this stuff. It's available, so I'm going to get it. But then you have uh, brothers and sisters that are paid wow. to go in from other cities, other states, to go in and cause disruption. Right. You have people who work for the police, for the for the, uh, the, the Fed, no different than with Malcolm X. And Martin Luther King, you got spies that go in and they start dissension in these yeah. crowds and then you got this giant peaceful demonstration on one part of the city and this small contingency of, of disruption in the city. And what does the news show? They show the disruption, not the peaceful, not the, 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 the hundreds and thousands of, of people peacefully demonstrating. They show the hundreds of people, right? the hundred people over here uh, burning, stealing, and looting. And in those, our planet disruptors. Right. And, and and so so let let let's take it back up to another level again. What I'll say is talk that, about the word because this is getting me fired yeah. up. What well, well, I know well, Chris is sitting over there steaming. I'm looking at him. And, and, <laughs> but 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 that's what I'm saying. Take it take it back up to the the, uh, the the level of the law again. I'm saying is we we the law was weak, right? It was weak, and this this is just demonstrating it. When you talk about not only God's law, you know, we talk about the Ten Commandments, and yeah. we say it, it was concluded. And let's go, matter of fact, uh, Galatians. Uh, let I'm just gonna bring it up in short. Galatians chapter three. Elder Johnson. Good morning, sir. How Good morning. you doing? Get, matter of fact, we just want to go ahead and pray first as we go into this. Cause we, we, cause right, it does get frustrated when we talk about us, but it's, 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 it's. it's I'm telling you, it, it, it parallels the, 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 the laws of God, and and by man, and the, and the Bible says, and Brother Jackson, and I know Elder can agree with it. The Bible says that the heart of man is desperately wicked, and there's, and 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 the law is not. Just like God's law, God conceded. We're gonna say in Galatians, starting at um, let me get it back here. <laughs> it's Galatians uh, chapter three. Uh, God even concluded that you know the, the the law is not the answer. Is and and man needs a savior. Period. 
All right, Galatians chapter three, starting at verse 15. Let me bring it up for you all. Yeah, what I'm gonna ask you to do is uh, give us a prayer when you when you get a chance. Go ahead, pray us in there. Let's get started with the prayer. Father God, forgive us our sins that we may be worthy to stand before you in prayer. Lord, we know that your word is applicable on all levels and all times and all places and every life on the planet. And we know, Father God, that the kingdom of God is an everlasting kingdom. And even as we look at these kingdoms that are in place in the earth, understanding that temple is definitely imperfect because they're run by imperfect men. Yes. We pray, Father God, you give us understanding as to how this relates to us and how it is that we are to interact with these people in these kingdoms to draw them from those kingdoms into the kingdom of God, which is an everlasting kingdom. Yes. The righteous kingdom, Lord God, the perfect kingdom. Come on. How it is that we are to be sustained in it, Lord God, and to carry out your will in it. Lord God, we thank you for this moment of inquiry, Lord. We thank yes. you, Father God, because you are preparing us to interact with a lost world that you have sent us to save. Yes. You have come yourself to save, Lord God, and to work through us to accomplish that. <laughs> Settle our hearts, even this morning, Lord God. Settle our hearts. We look upon the the, 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 the awesome wickedness of mankind. Yes. Hearts and deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Yes. Lord God, thank you for revealing to us that this is the common state of man. This is ah! the natural state of man. That Ooh. our state is desperately wicked. Yes. That we are in need of a savior, Lord God. That we are in need every man that comes to this planet. Is the need of you yeah we might have life abiding in us and that those things that happen in accordance with your will should happen through us yeah you said, out of our bellies will flow rivers of living water come on now God, let that with the river of living water to flow this morning yes fill us with your spirit lord god and send us lord. out into this dark world to salvage some souls from this mess yes things we pray in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ of nazareth amen amen amen, amen. Brother Jackson, I, 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 you know, I didn't do slides, Chris, because I'm using the same slides I've been using. So that's why you ain't getting a new slide. But we, we're talking, so we're flowing outside of that. We, we, yeah, so therefore, you couldn't have, you couldn't prepare, prepare these ones because you know how it was going to go. So, so Brother Jackson, <laughs> if you read all the way to 20, 15 to 25. Okay. Brethren. I speak after the manner of men, though it be but a man's covenant, <coughs> yet if it be confirmed, no man disannulleth or added thereto. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not into the seeds, into seeds as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Christ. Amen. And this I say, that the covenant which uh -huh. was confirmed before of God in Christ, the law, which was 430 years after, cannot disannul that it should make the promise of none effect. Right. For if the inheritance be of the law, right, it is no more of promise, Come but on. God gave it to Abraham by promise. Yes. Wherefore then serveth the law. Right. It was added because of transgressions. Well, till the seed should come to whom the promise was made and it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. Yes, sir. Verse 20. Now a mediator is not a mediator of one, uh -huh. but God is one. Yes, sir. Is the law then against the promises of God? God forbid. Yeah. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, well, verily righteousness should have been by the law. Right. But the scripture hath concluded all under sin. Yes. That the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. Yes. But before faith come, yes. came, excuse me, we were kept under the law. Right. Shut up into the faith which should afterwards be revealed. Right. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster uh -huh. to bring us unto Christ. Yes. That we might be justified by faith. Right. Concluding with verse 25. But after that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. Uh huh. And, and what? Go ahead, finish it up. Fit, yeah, I'm sorry, please. 29. Okay. 
For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Right. For as many of you as have been baptized unto Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. Uh huh. And if ye be Christ, then ye are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Amen. And the thing about it is what I'm saying is it, it say concluded. The Bible concluded that all. Isn't that right? That's right. <laughs> I'm saying is that our society is no more different than the yeah. laws given by God for, for, and, and for the Ten Commandments. It yeah. still concluded. It came up with the same conclusion that, that you, all, you, you all jacked up. And if you're trying to find a, a you, we got a good constitution. You know, wrong with the constitution. It's wrong. It's the people that that that's, that operates and implies and enforce the constitution. There was nothing wrong with the Ten Commandments. It's the people, you know, the the the, the, the Sadducees and the Pharisees. They were they became cold. They they be they you know when that woman was sick, Chris. She was sick for 30 some years. Her back, and, and Jesus tried to heal her on the Sabbath day, on Saturday. <laughs> and then got offended. A man had a wooden hand, and he asked, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day? He got offended. The law is concluded that the law itself does not work. And the Bible still also saying, Elder, I think you agree with this. We sit there and try to uh, not understand the seed time and harvest time. You know, what I'm saying about seed time and harvest time. If you plant hate, what you going to get? Hey, multiply hate. Uh-huh. Yeah. If, you, if you plant unforgiveness, what you going to get? Unforgiveness. unforgiveness and what you see right now is that there's both groups we're talking about as far as the police force and the justice system and then people themselves and, and, and you even talked about the fact that the people sit there and hiring people out of town to, to do and disrupt because they, they benefit from the disruption matter of fact to, to a degree, I wouldn't be surprised that the, and some people said it, some of the police force are planting people in there to deflect. This is what you call a redirect? Yeah. Let, let me, let, let's, 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 let's forget about what we, what tragedy occurred about standing on this joker's, this man's neck by, by saying, look how rude these people are. Look at the, the, the fires they're doing. Look at them burning up. Look at them tacking. I wouldn't be surprised that when it was trying to attack CNN, that it was it was out of towners. <laughs> no, I guarantee you that was that was uh, some uh, Trump supporters. Right. <laughs> hey, say something. Go ahead. Y'all notice most of the folks that sitting there lighting and burning up junk ain't black people. Yeah, that's oh, what I, I was saying. Oh. Black people. Yeah, that's interesting, ain't it? That, that like you said, I just want y'all to remember that. But who, like you said, who's going to catch it on this here? Woo! Black we, people going to catch it. Yeah, we might. They might. Wow, man. We're in a great spot in order to counteract some of this stuff as the body of Christ. Because the body of Christ needs to unite. There's an attack on the United States of America, but it's more along spiritual lines as far as the sons of God and the sons of darkness are concerned. We are right now in a position where we're pushing the envelope either back toward Christ or we're pushing it back or we're pushing it further away from him. Right. If the church does not sustain itself during this period, we're going to go through hell in a very short period of time. Yeah. The church well, has yeah, to say, Both okay. black, white, Hispanic, Asian, all of those people have to come together to manifest the kingdom now. Because you can cause hell in the midst of the earth. It's right. already there. It, like, they hardly didn't get corrupted. They hard work corrupted. They right. didn't turn cold. They were cold when they got here. Yeah. That's the condition of fallen man. We are corrupt from the core out. So no law that's written is going to get us to do the right thing. Exactly. <laughs> look, look at Malcolm and, 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 uh, and Muhammad. Right. 
M Malcolm wanted them to stand to this, I mean, stand it. Muhammad wanted to sleep with them little girls. What happened to Malcolm? He ended up dead. Was he killed by the FBI? Possibly. But was he killed by the, the, the they never deny that. Right. The Muslims even now do not say that we didn't have anything to do with that. They taught that he should not have come against Muhammad. Hey, look, look, in other words, once again, is what Muhammad will tell you that it is wrong to 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 you know sleep with young children. Right? And he goes because, because, because the law, the law. I mean, the law, you, you, you shouldn't do that, right? You shouldn't, you shouldn't be uh, raping or, or doing something contrary to the law. But it didn't apply, and remember the brother Adam, you were saying, it didn't yeah. apply to yeah, the people who are supposed to be enforcing the law. And all he talked about was, I must plant my seed. See what I'm saying? In other you words, know, I, I'm a justifier. Yeah. Because I guarantee you, if somebody... And that's why they doggone it. That's why they did it with Jesus, with the woman caught in the act of adultery. They brought that woman to Jesus because the law says that she's supposed to be stoned. Not the fact is that they probably just had adultery and committed adultery with that woman themselves. It's the law. Laws that applies to you, but not to me. Mm -hmm. And then what the problem is, unjust people just continue to perpetuate it. Hey, brother, uh, uh, Addison, read this for me. Uh, let me see what I got here. Read this. We read this before. This is Isaiah uh, 6, verse 8. And all the way to, uh, I guess, 13 will work. Because I, I think we, we, we're not, people are not getting it. And if we don't get it, all we're going to do is lead to a world of destruction. Pastor, that, before we start that, can I ask a question? Yeah. Can they get it? Not through, now, I say, I, I'm telling you, man, for me, I'm saying is the heart of man, which you quoted, is desperately wicked. And as long as we try to do this, fix, fix this stuff through the law, through man, we, all we're gonna do is get the same destruction. Satan come to steal, kill, and destroy. This is the world system. And if you go by the world system, it's going to continue to go with steal, kill, and destroy. Go, Chris. Um, a question is, and you hit up, you kind of hit up on it. You said, um, I, I've got a lot of friends now that are finally, you know me, I'm on the leading edge of this whole thing. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they coming back going, I understand these folks now. Uh -huh. That's the that's the one thing I want y'all to get get in your head. You know, everybody going, we need to pray, we need to do this and all that. We live in a bubble. That's the one thing I said. All of us right here in Warner Robin, we live in a bubble. This ain't gonna affect us that much, right. and we know right. this. But these other folks outside this bubble, this system, systemically, does not work. No. America today does not work for the black man. And that's what they pissed off about. And everybody saying, pray, do this. My question is, all I want to know is, what the hell are we going to do then? Well, that, and, that, and that, I think that's a good point, is, is the fact is that as long as we're going to be, you can't rely on man to fix man. This is a spiritual situation. Regardless of how you do it, it's still spiritual. And, 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 and the world system what I said earlier, steal, kill, and destroy. As long as we try to do this without God, we're not going to fix it. I think that that's and that's consistent, and it's consistent with God's plan. I think it is. For us. It is. God wants us to know that the world systems won't work. It won't work. States so of America is as corrupt as any other country on the planet. We yeah. were more effective in genocide than Hitler was in Germany. Uh -huh. and now, right. no us. This is one of the most corrupt, treacherous, evil <laughs> systems that has ever existed on the planet. Even though they have laws and, and ideologies that are put down on paper that are like sublime. But when they try to follow them, 
they have slavery right along with we're solid. We the people of the United States are in order to form a more perfect union to establish justice, issue <laughs> domestic tranquility right along the sides of slavery, which was one of the harshest institutions on the planet, and still fight to get back to that. And so I don't think, and I, I tell you what, I'm saying is the only only part about slavery is convenience. The convenience of the fact is that I could I got a people with a uniform on that they're born in in their birth suit. And therefore, I can at least identify these particular people. That's the bottom it. line is man himself. If there was no more black people in this doggone world, you'll still have this problem because somebody will sit there and say, let me pick a group of people. If you're redhead, then I'm going to go against all redhead. Right. If you if you, if you, you blue eyes, I'm going against all the blue eyes. It is not, it's way beyond the color of skin. It Amen. is dealing with the, the soul heart. and the heart of man, yep. which is desperately wicked. And if we get drawn, one thing we got to watch out is don't be drawn in and think that this, this is just a color thing. It's not. It is man. It's man himself is wicked. And, and if we don't, if we don't get to a point of understanding we need God, because when I read Galatians chapter three, it's clearly saying is, it is concluded that man cannot do it. Man is weak. The law does not fix nothing, dress nothing for man. True. That's the whole, and you know, I think, you know what, if, you know, Second Chronicles 7, 14, if my people to call upon my name shall humble themselves. Humble means is, I don't have the answer. Crazy. I don't, and I don't have it within me unless I have him in me. Amen? Amen. 